In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with rhinestone true type fonts here in Silhouette Studio. Uh, the question was, is can you get a stone count on the text that you're working with if you're working with a rhinestone true type font? And actually, Silhouette Studio has some special capability that actually makes working with rhinestone true type fonts quite easy. And of course, we certainly can get a stone count uh, when you're working with uh, true type or rhinestone font. So that's what I want to show you in this video. So I have some text here and I want to uh, apply a rhinestone font to that text. So I'm going to come over here to my text window. I just clicked on my little A. And in this case, I'm actually going to use a font from Synergy 17. And let's just see here which one I want to use. I think I went with the Elegant option. So it's S17 Elegant is this particular font. So the first thing that you want to do is right click on the font and choose the ungroup option and you can see what you get there. And then we'll right click on it again and we'll choose the Release Compound Path option. And when you do that you get each one of these becomes an individual object. You see when I when I select that like that, each one of those become an individual circle. So now what we'll do is we'll go over to our rhinestone uh, tab here and we'll choose the radio fill option. And now I have SS10 selected. And this is what's really cool about So It's Studio. First of all, regarding stone count, if you look down here, you do see in the very lower right hand corner, you do see that you have a stone count now. It's 284 stones. Previously, you could see you don't have a stone count because it just says totals selected shape. But as soon as we choose radio fill, then you see that we get a stone count of 284 stones. But what's really neat here in Silhouette Studio, as you can see, is we have all of these overlaps. But because they're now stones, those circles will not change. So I can just pull it out and, and I can actually visually see this happen. So I just keep pulling this out until the spacing is what I want it to be. So we'll just pull it out there. The, the actual circle size never changes. I think we just need a little bit more spacing because that's a little bit too tight right now. And then, you know, so you can have as much or as little spacing as you need. Um, but the actual circle size will always stay perfect for an SS10 stone. So that is how you get your stone counts. Um, so let's just go back and again, we grab our text tool. We type out our text. We then will come in here and we'll, this time we'll choose an easy stone font. Let's see, I don't know. Let's see what we're going to do here. Oh, I like this font, the Country Bumpkin font here. And this text could be as big as you want it to be. See, it doesn't really matter. Watch what we're going to do here. So we'll make this text really big. We'll go over here to our rhinestone options. You can see right now we have no rhinestones. But if I right-click on this and choose Ungroup, you can see we get each individual letter. And then we'll right-click and Release Compound Paths. And as soon as we do that, then you can see we get a little box around each one of our circles. So now each one of these is our individual object. We'll go ahead and add stones to them. We'll do radio fill. And look at the look at this mess that we get. Right? Well that's because this is scaled way too big. And so so what studio is putting way too many circles. But what we can do is you just make that selection and we just scale it down. And as we do that, you'll see this come right back to like it should be. See there? So now you can see we have our design right back to where we should be. And you can see the spacing between stones right now. And if you want a little bit of less spacing, you just keep on shrinking it until you get your stone spacing exactly the way you want to. But getting back to the original question when we select our text you can see now we have 164 stones so that's how to use uh, so it's studio and get the stone count uh, for your text thanks for watching